Run and don't look away go together. It's that point in your walk with God where you realize that you really want to give everything over to Him, that every corner of your life is for His purpose and His plan. And yet your fear of two things, your fear of not being worthy of that, but also your fear of, if I do that, God's going to see every corner of my life. And those two things are our stumbling blocks. And so, in both songs, it's that moment when you make eye, eye contact with God, and instead of looking away in fear or shame, you don't look away. You don't blink. And run whenever you feel like you might need to run away from the Lord because you don't think that you're worthy or you've made mistakes or you haven't done what you think He's asked you to do. Instead of running away from Him, you run to Him because He knows it all anyway. And one of the major points that uh, spoke to me for these two songs I want to read from Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You understand my thoughts from far away. You observe my travels and my rest. You are aware of all my ways. Whenever we would go out to the prison, we would talk to the boys about that. They felt like they were, they were not worthy of the Lord because they obviously had had some serious stumbling blocks in their life and one of them had landed them in, in a youth facility. And so we talked to them about, well, we're here with you this weekend. You're going to make eye contact with God. Don't look away. You may want to run away because God's going to talk to you about some of these hurts in your life. Run towards Him. Don't run away from Him. And so through the progression of these two songs, it's that relationship where I run away from you and now I run back towards you. I made eye contact with God, but then I looked away because I was so ashamed. But in both songs, God calls us back. He says, I am your God, and you are worthy of me because you are mine. And so as you're listening to them, that is the joy and that's the praise is that in that gradual surrender to that personal relationship with God, you give Him all of you, your, your faults and your gifts, and that He accepts them. As you listen to run, think about, are you running away from the Lord, or are you running to Him? And if you're running away from Him, what is in that direction? that holds something for you instead of what would be waiting for you if you turn back and ran to Him? Are you running from Him or are you running from something else? Once you understand why you're running, then you'll know which direction you're going. Which direction are you going? Are you running toward the Lord or are you running away from Him?